This place was way farther than I thought. I'm exhausted. Hey babe, tomorrow that new pachinko parlor is opening. I need to get there early to line up, so... Oh, fuck off! Whose fault is it that we had to drive to the middle of fucking nowhere, huh? Folks say this place is haunted. Some punks heard about it and decided to check it out. They were never seen again. Everyone's too scared to come here now. It's perfect. Ugh. My back is killing me. Why'd I have to do all the heavy lifting? You really are a disrespectful little brat. From outside the window of this huge estate is a white car that drives off into the distance. Today's horror manga dub and narration is Akari by Usa Yamame from the horror anthology A Good Day for the Paranormal. If you enjoy this story, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right in to Akari. I hope you all enjoy. Now, from inside the estate, at one of the wardrobes, it ever so slowly opens, and a figure emerges. It looks like a ghost. As a young girl looks over, the ghost approaches her. Her eyes go wide as the figure stares at her, as if staring into her very soul. Then, all of a sudden, it pulls off the sheet. It's a man with a scarred face, he says. What the hell? You ain't scared? He approaches the girl who is all curled up inside a suitcase. And then she smiles as he stares down at her. What a weird kid. It's one thing to think a ghost might be friendly, but most people who see this messed up face are scared shitless. For a lazy guy, Somehow, I've managed to survive. I was just doing the jobs I was asked to do. Before I realized it, I was a total mess. Bunch of asshole kids came here to mess around. Tried taking care of it. Like I would on the job. And I didn't feel a damn thing. A lot of people are coming for me, but this closet seems it's connected to some place beyond here. Thanks to it, work's been easy and I've kept on living, but it looks like the gates are gonna close soon. The girl looks at him with a confused expression on her face. Well, suppose it's good timing. I'm completely worn out. Hey, do you bathe? You stink just like me, he says as he scratches his head. Why don't we take a trip together? Over there, there's enough warm baths and soft beds for the both of us. He takes a dagger out from his back pocket. As the girl whispers the words, I'm so happy. Thank you, Mom. Huh? What did you just say? Hey, you! Then he notices her eye seeps out of its socket, dripping toward the floorboard. He stares at her for a moment, and then she collapses to the ground. He gives her a moment of silence, and then he says, Wish I'd seen the license plate number, though I never would have expected this. Life can be a real bitch, huh? I guess this journey ain't over yet. 
Let's go, Akari. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Cleo, Dason Animus, Ali Wei, Pteranodon Girl One, and Minue. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.